The engine is the heart of your car, a complex machine that converts heat from burning fuel into the force that powers the wheels. It is designed to transform heat energy into mechanical energy. In this video, we'll provide a detailed explanation of each main part of the engine. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post new videos. Your support keeps us going. Now let's explore each of the engine components in detail. An engine block. The engine block houses all of the major components that make up the bottom end of a motor. The block, which is also known as the cylinder block, is where the crankshaft spins, and the pistons move up and down in the cylinder bores, fired by the fuel combusting. It plays a key role in the lubrication, temperature control, and stability of the engine. And it has to be of the highest quality, so there is no room for shortcuts. The engine block provides attachment points for various engine components. Crankcase is fixed to its bottom, other parts like timing gear, water pump, flywheel, and fuel pump are also attached to it. The main structure of an engine typically consists of cylinders, coolant passages, oil galleries, crankcase, and deck. Cylinder head. The cylinder head is another main part of an engine. It is located at the top of the engine. The main function of the cylinder head is to sit above the cylinders, forming the roof of the combustion chamber. There are other functions like regulating valve operation, dissipating heat, facilitating spark plug mounting, and optimizing airflow. It contains the most important mechanical components for controlling the gas exchange process. Inlet and exhaust passage, coolant passage, valves, camshaft, spark plug, and fuel injectors are all situated in the cylinder head. The cylinder head is attached to the engine block using studs and cylinder head bolts. The upper part of the engine is called the cylinder head, while the lower part is the engine block. The gap that remains between the cylinder head and engine block is completed by the head gasket. Piston a car engine piston is a cylindrical metal component that moves up and down in the engine cylinder to convert gas expansion into mechanical energy. It converts the energy generated from fuel combustion into mechanical work. A piston transfers power to the crankshaft through a connecting rod, which converts the piston's linear motion into rotational motion. The piston is the most important engine part compared to others. Functions of the piston Receiving combustion pressure Converting combustion expansion energy into mechanical energy. Adjusting cylinder volume. Sealing the combustion chamber. Guiding the connecting rod. Supporting gas exchange. Pistons are produced from cast, high-temperature resistant aluminum silicon alloys. The highest position the piston reaches in the cylinder is called the top dead center, and the lowest position is called the bottom dead center. Connecting rod. A connecting rod is a part of a piston engine that connects the piston to the crankshaft. It's responsible for converting the piston's reciprocating motion into the crankshaft's rotation. The small end of the connecting rod has either a solid or used to connect the piston by the piston pin. The big end of the connecting rod is always split, and it is used to connect the crank pin of the crankshaft. Crankshaft The crankshaft is another main part of the engine. It is essentially the backbone of the internal combustion engine. It is responsible for the proper operation of the engine and converting the linear motion of the piston into rotational motion. The crankshaft should have very high fatigue strength and wear resistance to ensure long service life. It is a rotating shaft with one or more crank pins that are driven by the pistons through connecting rods. It comes with several parts that work simultaneously to make it work. Parts of the crankshaft include Main journals. Counterweight. Flywheel mounting flange. Crank pin. Crank web. Oil passage. Flywheel. The flywheel is bolted to the crankshaft at its central mounting surface, allowing it to rotate together with the crankshaft, thereby helping to maintain engine momentum and smooth operation. It is a mechanical device that stores rotational kinetic energy and delivers it to the transmission system as needed. This helps to maintain a consistent rotational motion within the transmission system, which promotes smooth engine operation. Functions of the flywheel 1. Smooths power delivery. 
Engines don't produce power evenly all the time. The flywheel stores energy when the engine is producing power and releases it when the engine isn't, so the engine runs more smoothly without sudden stops or jerks. 2. Keeps the engine turning. When the engine is idling or between power strokes, the flywheel helps keep the engine spinning so it doesn't stall. 3. Helps start the engine. The flywheel works with the starter motor to help get the engine turning when you start the car. It stores energy to make the engine easier to start. 4. Works with the clutch. In cars with a manual transmission, the flywheel provides a surface for the clutch to engage or disengage, allowing the driver to change gears smoothly. Oil pan. An oil pan is a metal container attached to the bottom of the engine. It plays a big role in the engine's activities. Functions of an oil pan include. 1. Lubricates engine parts, holds the engine oil that will be circulated through parts of the engine to keep them lubricated and reduce friction, so everything works smoothly. 2. Prevents the engine from overheating. The oil pan helps the engine run at the right temperature by releasing heat from the oil back into the air. 3. Protects the oil from contaminants. The oil pan helps protect the engine oil from contaminants by keeping dirt, debris, and other particles out, ensuring the oil remains clean and effective for lubrication. The drain plug is positioned at the bottom or side of the oil pan, depending on the car's design. The drain plug seals the bottom of the oil pan and allows us to drain the old engine oil during an oil change. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support keeps us going.